All right, I am starting a trip. I'm not sure how long it will take me, but it will probably be a couple mile hike. And I'm up here, pretty high up on this hill, and uh, there's Redding over there. So I'm up on this hill. Uh, truck is parked right over there. It's hard to see because of the sun. And I've turned tracking on on my GPS because I don't want to get lost over here. So I'll leave a trail where I'm going so I can follow it back. I'm going to the first one. It's 200 feet away. And then pretty soon we'll get to the unpaved roads. And uh, yeah. So here we go. Jimmy's working again. So I'm on my own. He's already found all these anyway. So. Okay, see you later. I have found point number one behind this tree. So, mark is found. Marked is found. Go to the map. Next one, point two miles away. Go. Now, let's set up for the next one. All right. Okay, we're coming up to the second one pretty soon. It's about 40 feet away. You can see it's directly to my right. Well, GPS is confused because I stopped moving, but if I start moving forward, it'll jump to the right. Should. Anyway, it's over to the right. <laughs> we go here. 27 feet. 22, 19, it's a little bit further to the right, so you come around, so, oh, oh, there it is, somebody's shooting over there, anyway, that's it, found it, right now I'm going for one called Manzanita Tunnel, and uh, I think I know why it's called that, just keep watching, look at this, this is a pretty cool place. Look ahead of me. It's just a tunnel of manzanita. Very cool. I just gotta keep going and eventually I'll make it to it. Yep. 300 feet. Got it. Right here. Now, switch hands. I'm gonna put it back in its spot right there. And then this is kind of interesting because when I come up here, look at this, empty. It's just a spot. Let me get to the middle real quick. And I'll spin around and it's just, you know, an empty field right here. Kind of weird. And then I gotta find my entrance to the tunnel. Where'd it go? It's a tunnel somewhere. Here we go. Bees. Wah! Go through the tunnel! So I just ran up that hill, up the tunnel. I kind of wore myself out, I think. I'm tired now. <laughs> so, I'll take my jacket off and I'll have my lemonade. And then I'll catch my breath and then continue on my way. I just found this really cool container. The coordinates were a little bit off. They were kind of pointing over there, you know? So I was kind of stomping around over there. <clears throat> but then I was walking back out here and then I, uh, I saw this. Look at that. It's very big. I mean, there's my hand. And it just keeps going way down to there. It's a huge container. I like how it opens. I don't know how, I, you need two hands and I can't film it open. But this top piece twists and just separates and you get the whole bottom half and you can put tons of stuff in there. But anyway, it's a pretty cool hide. But anyway, now on to the next one. There's lots of really good hides along this trail, like this one here. 
cordons are really close to the trail. There's a rock. I don't. But anyway, the coordinates are really close, like just off, of, like this far. And it said to look down low. So I'm like looking by on the bases of all these trees, not finding anything. I even went way in there and way up here, looking at all the bases of the trees. When actually it was this the whole time. Just lift this up. There it is. Very good. Some of those make you feel kind of funny because it's like spend all this time looking and then you find it like, oh, that's what it was. And then you're like, should have found that earlier. But, oh well, that's how it goes. That's what makes it fun sometimes. On to the next one. Okay, I just found the ninth one and I think that's all of them in this whole West Side Hills hike area. Um, and I ended up on the other side where my truck isn't. So now I either have to go back in and hike all the way back to my truck again or take the road. I think I'll walk the road. I changed my mind. I'm taking the trails because I haven't been on this one yet and I think this one will connect to the other trail which is a straight shot right to uh, my truck. And the road is really windy so this way it may actually be faster, but I don't know, but we'll see. I like walking in trees better than on pavement anyway, so we're going this way. I'm going to get some Bandito Burrito. That's like a uh, tradition, I guess. Whenever I come to Reading, I get a burrito from the Bandit. They're good, so I'll do it. All right. Cool. All right, I'll see you later. Bye. I just realized something. This trail is taking me somewhere. I've already been. Whoops. Oh well, I just have to climb up again. It's coming up right around this corner. Whoa. Hey, how's it going? Bikers. Uh, anyway. Yeah, here's the turn right here. That's the first biker I've seen. <laughs> Probably see my reaction to the camera. Whoa! It's funny. Anyway, this is the location. And, uh... Cash is right up, hidden up there. Right up there. It's cold over here for some reason. But now I gotta go back up and down these switchbacks. Back and forth and back and forth. And then that way to the truck. I got a view of Redding from up here earlier when I started. This is what it looks like now. It's all red. And there's a mountain. I don't think that's Shasta. Because north is that way. I don't know if you can see Shasta from here. It's maybe too foggy, I don't know. But, I'm really close. You can see the road. The truck is about to come into view. I see it. There it is. Yay. I've been away for about three hours. I'm back again. Cool. And now, what I was doing, Remember at the beginning I said I was turning on tracking? Well, I'm going to import that track into Google Earth and do a tour. And you'll be able to see where I walked uh, for the whole time. I'll compress three hours into, I don't know, like 30 seconds or so. I'll find a good speed, but... Whew, back at the truck. Yes. Burrito time.
There it is. Burrito Bandito. Good place. I'm gonna go get a burrito from there. I went to a uh, shopping place called Holiday and I just got a 12 pack of Mountain Dew and some double A's for my uh, my computer mouse. I have to turn soon. But, um, but no, when I checked out I used my credit card, right? And uh, when I went to sign for it, I used my geocaching name instead of my actual signature. Whoops. Oh well. I don't think it really matters anyway. This is kind of funny. They didn't question it or anything. They're like, okay, and just took the receipt. Whatever. But I'm almost back and I'm gonna have some dinner. <laughs>